Hi, this is Cindy, and I'm going to explain a little bit more about the problem that we are working to solve with dynamic agility for large solutions. This part of the problem to solve we call the complexity explosion. Now what we've learned from uh, applying our favorite scaling frameworks is that the visual representations we have don't really describe well the the massive change as we go from single agile teams to teams of teams to uh, hundreds of people supporting a very large, complex, life critical, <laughs> regulated system. Let me show you what I mean. If we could visualize the difference between an agile team of 7 to 12 people or a team of teams 50 to 125 people and how we scale that up to hundreds of people, we know that it is a much larger batch size. And what happens with a larger batch size? That's right, more variability. And so this variability happens along many different dimensions. Now, the great irony is that the body of knowledge that we have is much greater at the Agile team level because of the length of time Agile, te Agile teams have been used effectively, but now we're expanding it. And so we have some body of knowledge around teams of teams, but the challenge is really the largest, most complex systems in the world. We have much a much smaller body of knowledge around success patterns. And why is that? It's because with all this variability, it's very difficult to find a small set of success patterns that can be applied across this set of complexities. So here's some type of complexity that we see in large solutions. Not an exhaustive list, but certainly ones that make a huge difference. If we're building hardware-based systems, if we have a large degree of component reuse, now we're moving into the world of artificial intelligence, digital twins, um, data analytics, just compounding the complexities that we have in the largest systems so how do we handle this amount of complexity? We can't just take the same set of roles, artifacts, ceremonies and events and practices and just multiply them out to get a solution that gives us an effective application of Agile for these very large complex systems. We need a different approach. This different approach is designed to support this complexity explosion. And what is it? It is this need to have those people involved in the large complex systems and their great knowledge about those different dimensions of complexity. We need to tap into that knowledge and leverage it in a way that builds the organizational skills to have the organizational architecture and way of building systems that best is best applied to their particular context. And that's what we call dynamic agility. And we have dynamic agility applied with organizational skills. And in our thought leadership and our learning experience, this is what you will know and hopefully be inspired by to take this new way of looking at the world of agility and applying it to your large complex solutions. So in short, we need a new kind of balance. Yes, if we have a system that we can build, uh, make available to customers, test, um, provision, and support with let's say 100, 125 people, it is possible to have full transparency and collective ownership. However, as you see from a quote here on the right, you know, no one person can understand the entire system. It's just not possible. The system is too complex. So now we have to find that balance by allowing empowerment and encapsulation of complexity behind well-defined interfaces. 
Do you mean interfaces in architecturally significant components? Yes. It could be interfaces around uh, the markets and the channels that we supply. And others who are very, very successful, groundbreaking in their industries have also told us, yes, we are very, very agile. But our innovation happens behind well-defined interfaces of our architectural components. So in our learning experience, you will come to understand a different way of working and thinking about agility that unleashes the power of the people building the systems to really define how they effectively apply the underlying principles of small batch sizes, of integrated demonstrations, fast feedback cycles, etc. So we hope you'll join us in our learning experience and we would love to have you participate so that we can learn from you as well. Thank you very much.